Hello everyone, I'm Yilong Yang from the University of Nabokov. In this slide, we will present a two IM2PT for automatic generation of the prototypes from the required model. By providing a requirements model, IM2PT can generate MVC prototypes automatically. Requirements models of the IM2PTs contains a use case diagrams which capture the domain processes as use cases in the terms of the interactions between the system and its user. System sequence diagrams, which describe a particular domain processes of the use case. The contract of the system operation specifies the conditions that the state of the system is assumed to be satisfied before and after the execution of the system operation. A state of the object-oriented systems is about existing objects together with their properties and relations. The state is an object diagram defined by conceptual class diagram. A conceptual class diagram, which model abstract and meaningful concepts and their relationships in the problem domain. We're using supermarket processing cell system Kokomi in the demo part, which contains required modeling prototype generation, and require validations. I already opened the Kokomi example here. As we see, uh, the required models divided into two parts. Its first part is the graphic part, and another is the uh, picture model. OK, I already opened the use case diagram here. This is the system sequence diagram for the use cases of the process cell. This is the conceptual class diagram. For each system operation in the system of a uh, sequence diagram, we need to specify the contracts for them, just like a precondition and postcondition. ARM2PT kits tools support third-party service because uh, not all the required model is executable. So you can put the just like sorting algorithm, email algorithm into this uh, third-party implementation Java files. Let's generate the prototype right now. Right click the, the text models, menus, choose generation object-oriented prototypes. You can see all the code is generated. You can directly draw your prototype. Right click the wrong. This is a prototype. For convenience, we already provide the GUI test script here. You can directly run it. As you can see, the GUI test is already running. We first uh, request some of the stop data about stores, cache desk, cashiers and the product categories and product, which include apple, pear apples, and peach, as well as supplier. Uh, on the system state uh, panels, we can see all the objects already created. Let's validate the requirement by opening the store, open the cache desk, and then we validate process cell use cases. Okay, make a new new cell. Enter the items. Another one. And end the cell. Then make the cash payment. You can also check the inventories and the suppliers. If uh, some item is out of stock. You can make uh, new orders from supplier. Input the barcode of the item and choose the suppliers for the item. And you can place the orders. Once the store managers receive the orders, they can make a confirmation. Then the store report will be updated. That is the main use cases validations. Thanks for your watching.